So a pacemaker is designed to stop the heart from going too slow. So it will listen to a heart beat and if the heartbeat is slower than it should be then the pacemaker will send a signal down the wire into the heart to stimulate the heart to go at a faster pace. And therefore the, the person who is most likely to benefit from a pacemaker is someone whose heart is going too slow or has a tendency to go too slow or sometimes even pauses which may cause them to feel dizzy or lethargic or blackout. So a pacemaker works um, by uh, having a little electronic device in the uh, top corner of your chest with a wire or two wires generally running down into the heart and the pacemaker circuits listen to the heart because the heart is an electrical organ and you can listen to the heartbeat by detecting the electrics and the pacemaker will often just be listening and say that's fine your heart is okay but sometimes the pacemaker will then detect that the heart is going too slow and in that case it sends a small electrical current into the heart which stimulates either the top or bottom chambers of the heart to go at a more normal speed. In some people when the heartbeat is just not fast enough uh, at all then the pacemaker will take over and run all of the time but most pacemakers nowadays try uh, and not run all of the time if the heart is going at a decent speed. So there are some things that can affect pacemakers. It's fairly uncommon now to be in a situation where that might be a problem. Um, the classic one was arc welding, but there's not many people doing arc welding. Uh, the big worry people have is over magnets, and if we generally advise people not to have their mobile phone in the pocket right next to the pacemaker. And of course, MRI used to be something that we were very concerned with, with pacemakers, but that's now uh, not an issue in, in most centres. Um, there are uh, some concerns with induction hobs, but again, unless you're leaning over the induction hob, that is not really uh, a concern. When you first have a pacemaker put in, um, the pacemaker leads are not as well adjusted to the body and sticking in place and therefore you would be given advice uh, on the day of your pacemaker implant not to use that arm too much, not to reach up, not to swing, uh, etc. Just so that the pacemaker and the leads can get settled in and that's usually for the first three months. So pacemakers have been around for about 60 years now and uh, the technology has obviously advanced over many years. There used to be a very large device that had to even be put in your tummy and now there are very small devices that can go in the chest or even some very tiny ones that can actually fit inside the heart itself. Uh, the pacemaker device itself is very safe and very reliable and it's incredibly rare for a pacemaker uh, to become faulty. Very rarely the leads themselves can get damaged um, or, or break but that again is not a common scenario uh, and the complication rates from putting in pacemakers are low. So the more recent developments in pacemaker technology that have been exciting are that modern pacemakers uh, can now uh, put in people and, and you can safely have an MRI. Uh, in fact, I put in the first pacemaker that was MRI compatible in the Essex region many years ago and that patient successfully had MRIs uh, of their head and indeed heart uh, after that. More recently, the big advance that uh, has been spurred on by uh, the coronavirus is the fact that we can now do remote monitoring. Um, so patients now can have a little box that sits underneath their bed and talks to the pacemaker every night and tell, asks the pacemaker whether it's working okay and then sends that information back uh, to your pacemaker centre. And that means that patients don't have to travel up uh, to the cardiac centre uh, every uh, three months, every six months uh, to physically visit the department uh, and can know uh, that the pacemaker has been watched every single day uh, to make sure that if there was any um, issue with the pacemaker or any change in heart rhythm that was a concern, uh, then the cardiac centre would be able to see that and respond to that very quickly.